Hi guys, Ali hier. Ähm, ich würde euch gerne mein 67th Brigade vorstellen äh, mit Video. Äh, auf Sonne kann ich nicht warten. Äh, die wird schon irgendwann mal wieder kommen. Äh, ich mache es auf Englisch. Die meisten von euch versteht Englisch. Äh, verstehen Englisch. Und, ähm, oder verstehen mein Deutsch auch, was fast Englisch ist. So, anyway, ich fange, wo fange ich an? Ich fange auf die Seite an. Alright, this is the 67th Brigade. I call it the 67th Brigade because I'm a 67er, born in 1967, December. And it's all about the Fire Brigade, so I had to derive some name. And that's what I came up with, the 67th Brigade. As you can guess when you see it, it's all about uh, fire brigades, or about the old fire wagons and fire engines and things. And that's why I tried to capture as much of the uh, different elements that you would think about or which are familiar um, uh, from paintings, from books, from stories, from TV, from movies, backdraft, you know, things like that. Um, and older fire engines as well, or fire coaches. So as you can see, we've got the, um, uh, um, the typical gold leaf elements. Um, on a red background, you could also have them on a br uh, brown or a black, seen black background as well, but I made them on red. Um, they're actually stickers, which are usually used to decorate your birthday cards, and I just cut them off and uh, arranged them in such a way that I could get that, you know, twiddly fiddly bit look, and I'm sure there's some technical term for that as well. But anyway, it's supposed to depict gold leaf. As far as the, um, uh, the side windows are concerned, on both sides, I've got these um, shield of arms. Um, uh, I decided to make them darker on the outside to give it a two-tone painting, uh, getting lighter on the inside because I've got a red, um, uh, sorry, a black uh, plaque in the middle. And so that it would look as if, you know, that the artist that made the plaques or the, uh, the shield of arms is not necessarily the same one who painted the uh, fire engine, even though it is. Um, I finished it in 2014, so that's why um, established 2014, just like they have established in whatever date a fire brigade or an engine is <coughs> erect <coughs> erected. Mm, excuse me. Every um, uh, plaque which I could find in the internet all had uh, some type of, uh, depending on the slogan of course, they had some type of um, um, a content for their plaques and I picked out the, uh, the uh, omnipresent um, uh, helmet. Um, I made an axe here, this is wood, this is wood, and there's a piece of coat hanger wire in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got flu again. And um, I made a horn, just a piece of round wood, which I put into my drill. And while it was turning, um, shaved it off. And I've got two horns on each side. So on the bottom, um, I've got the um, uh, the feet upon which it's standing, the case feet. I think they were from a case or from some old CD player, I don't know. I salvaged them a couple of years ago from something. Um, I stuck in some chrome pipe, cut it to the right length on both sides because I wanted to um, enheighten the whole thing. And that's why it's got a lot of air underneath, so you can suck cool air in. Um, here on the top and at the bottom, I've got um, chains, which you would usually find in bathtubs. And I made these banister chain things, just like on the very old fire brigade coaches. You know, here, they're all stuck in on each side, so that sets it off a little bit. <coughs> so let's move around to the front. In the front, on both sides, um, to protect the sides, I've got these slide poles, like um, I'm sure you all know them from uh, uh, fire uh, brigades. They always have them, you know, when they slip into the shoes and their clothes and get ready to go, and then they slide all the way down from the first to the ground floor or whatever to get to the engine quicker. I made these parts here out of wood, and they blend in in such a way with the same angle, 45 degrees, that it looks just like the case as well everywhere. I've got 45 degrees here by the way as well, just like here as well, everywhere actually, here. Um, so it's all the same design. So you can't actually tell whether they are part of the case or whether they were put on afterwards, but they were. Inside there's a piece of round wood so that it's a little bit 
tougher because it's actually a copper, um, chrome-coated copper piping, which they use under sinks here in Germany. And it bends very easily, but I had to stop it from bending, so there's a piece of round wood inside there. <coughs> um, I have a aqua uh, tuning, uh, aqua cooling, sorry, um, reservoir inside here, and the whole water system is actually from uh, aqua tuning, aqua cooling, damn it. And I turned it around so that I have the, the pumps on the outside, and that's where it's getting its power. And I used them to put my 67th Brigade logo in. I wanted to have this type of metal, I don't know what you call it, riffle plech they call it here, I don't know what a riffle is. Um, groove plate or something, I don't know. I'm going to have to look in Google and see what you call it in English. But it's typical, we all know it, it's just like a bit like corrugated iron. It's got a certain profile and they use it in fire brigades as well, so I made a cover here as well. This is actually the top of a, um, um, what do you call it, a spray can, uh, which I used because I like the form of it. I've got an LED underneath this, which is stuck into this part of something I got from Mund Energy Concept. It's, it's about, um, I think it's got something to do with some heating uh, device, and but now it's looking just like, as you can see, like a, a hydrant. And I'm using it with the on-off switch, which I put inside here as well. And there's an LED inside here, which is the HDD and CD um, activity LED. Here I've got the LED for... Uh, on off. These pipes are left dark. I didn't want any water rushing around here because I've got enough red and I just want that you see this analog temperature display which is taking the heat from uh, or sensing the heat from the um, um, power supply and this lights up red as well when it's all on. Everything lights up red. So for the front um, I'm very proud of this part because the parts I salvaged here are so special. Um, this is supposed to depict the grill of an old fire engine truck and I used the natural curve, which was already in these um, pieces of wire. Actually, it used to be a, um, they used to go around like this, in a total L, but with a curve, of course. And there was many of them going around in a circle, stuck into wood on the top and wood on the bottom. There used to be some type of a basket for umbrellas or for fruit or something. I salvaged it from the uh, uh, scrapyard uh, and um, from the junkyard. And I'm proud of how that worked out because it looks like the grill the front radiator of an old fire engine and so I managed to make that part very well I like that um, this is actually more or less loose I didn't fix it at all it's just wedged in here and uh, so when I actually take off these wooden parts from behind the screw from behind then I could also take that out if, I, if need be uh, I got a fan underneath there so then we got the second slide pole on top, um, this used to be flat here, and there used to be a wire mesh guard here and a wire mesh guard here as well. Uh, I took them out, didn't like the mesh um, uh, type which was already in, I didn't like the way the holes were ordered in, and so I used my own, but actually I made this hump here to put in, it can also be taken out, here, I've got the radiator underneath there. And so once again, I gave it the same 45 degree angle, just like you can find everywhere in the case, 45 degree angle here on all the sides and integrated in such a way that you can't really tell if you don't know, but we all know, of course, you can't really tell that it wasn't originally a part of the case. Then uh, here, there's the USB port. <coughs> they were already there. Um, here, this is loose for a reason. Uh, it's, it's stiff enough, but it's loose if I want to take it out. Um, this is the fire brigade light and inside there I've got the, the lid which I can screw off if I want to get to uh, the reservoir and um, uh, fill up the liquid or extract the liquid if I want to transport it or uh, do some maintenance or whatever. So that's why I can get inside there. I decided to put the white side on the front because it looks better and yeah, I just have to put some more tape on it so that it's a little bit stiffer. Uh, what else we got? What else we got on the top? Uh, let's go down down a little bit. So the inside, it's all fully furnished, as you can see. I furnished it all, covered everything up, put all the wires in the background so that you can't see them. I used this riffle plec again, whatever you call it. Uh, profile, aluminium. Aluminium, as the Americans say, but I say aluminium in English. Um, then here, from the front, you can see the black piping coming in, and then it gets transparent. 
So inside I've got all the transparency here. Um, it's coming through this piece of metal, going down there, going inside there. Um, underneath there's another pipe connected, it's going through here. And then I've got this very nice piece, which I got from Mund again, which is actually an analog temperature gauge in chrome. Uh, sorry, in, um, uh, in brass, look. And I like that very much, and I can even take it off without um, interrupting the, the water flow or the liquid flow. So I like that. That's a nice feature. It gives it that nice nostalgic, nostalgic touch inside and tells me the temperature of the water as well. So that's uh, something I like very much. Then here I've got a card reader. This is all metal here. It's all aluminium. Um, I've got the reset button so that you can see it nice and big with a big R so that you know that if you press that button then the computer will reset. Um, here I got a fan and I made a template so that the uh, um, uh, the mesh is a little bit you know uh, profiling towards me and not just sunk playing in. Uh, I got its 67th logo here as well. Um, yeah, actually, you can't see any wires at all. That's what. Uh, that's a look which I wanted to achieve, and uh, so I'm happy about that. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, then we got two switches here. One of them. As soon as everything's turned on, I'll show you what they do. This is for the chassis control uh, flip switch. So when I turn the case, uh, when the case is actually or the computer is actually running, uh, then this is of course it's it's pressed. And to um, uh, op when you open the case, then the alarm goes on. And the switch to turn it on or off is inside, which is logical, so that nobody turns it off and then opens the case to maybe pinch my HyperX drive, so I don't want that. So and this is a slot-in drive. I can take this out. I made this from an old um, hard disk casing uh, for IDE, which I don't use anymore. I've only got... Um, uh, SSDs in the new PC, so uh, I didn't need that, so I used that to make a slot in case and the connector is behind there. This is actually just a wireless because I installed Windows yet yesterday, and so this is just a wireless uh, a plug which I put on there, so that you don't really need. <coughs> so there we got the piping coming and going in every direction, they all connect together up in the um, uh, what do you call it, the, the radiator at the top. Um, then we got these two fans, which I salvaged from an exit uh, server, and they are turned on with this switch here when it's running again. And uh, they are for the exhaust pipes, the upright exhaust pipes at the back, just like on old fire engine trucks or on any truck actually. I made these out of the milk carton lids, and these are God knows what you call them. It's a type of a hook which you put up in your ceiling when you want to hang a lamp or something, and um, um, yeah, and they got these like fish hook things which pointing backwards. I can't remember what you call them. Anyway, and uh, they have to be very light. This ring here was supposed to go on top there. And the ring is actually from a hard disk, but it was it's made out of aluminium, but it was still too heavy. And um, so when these fans are on, then they open automatically. And uh, you know, on a hot day, then I can uh, additionally turn them on. Otherwise, cooling is really not the problem here. I don't have any heat problems at all. So, what else we got? Yeah. <coughs> what would a fire engine be without a siren, of course? And it's red light there. So, we needed a siren. I got a pretty cheap one for 12 euros. And I decorated it in such a way that it's got chrome linings here. Uh, first of all, I had to make a plate to cover all the slot um, in the card slot. Um, uh, Damn it, what do you call them in English? I'm so used to speaking German. These thingies here, these pieces of metal with a little angle where you stick your cards in. Slot play here. Anyway, so um, um, and I closed that up with aluminium. I took these two handles, which were actually from an exit server again, uh, from some other server, I'm not sure. And this is actually a part of these exhaust pipe fittings, which were originally for a sink. Um, underneath the sink. I don't know what exactly they did. I think they were either for the uh, draining. I think they're for the draining. Yeah, and this is where that would fit in there. This part would be here around this. And I took the cover of one of these fans and put some LEDs behind it and set it up and it really looks good when it's on. And it's bloody loud, I'm telling you. And so that's how I uh, finished the back of the PC as well. 
and I'm not sticking any cards in there like graphic card or anything because um, I won't be doing more than office work I guess with this if it's not exhibited somewhere so I'll just use the online graphic card right what else we got yeah then I think I'll turn it on and I'll show you what it looks with lighting okay so let's have a look at the front move it a little bit then you can see the liquid there it is everything is on when I reset the PC, of course, then you can see it running here. Oh, it was just on uh, the HDD LED <coughs> fans in the front. Um, all four fans, there's two at the top, one there. Uh, the Cooler Master fan is underneath. These ones are Animax, but the Cooler Master is underneath on top of the, um, uh, the PCU, and, which is also from uh, Cooler Master. And um, when I take, if I want to, then I can uh, change the, you know, how they blink. And I'll just go here. Uh, you can see it inside there. Well, that's all just special effects. Or I can just turn it off. I'll leave it on for the moment. All right, there you can see the front of it. Let's go inside again. The other side panel, by the way, is over there. Just left it open so that you can see it. So I'll go around to the back and then I'll move in and show you the inside. So now you can see the LEDs of the um the siren. Okay, let's take a closer look at the uh, functions now. <coughs> As I said, I got the SSD here, then I got the switches here. Now I'm probably even going to have to press pause so that I can put that side part back on the side panel, but otherwise I'll show you what happens. I'll turn the alarm on and then watch what happens with the siren. There you go. And here, when I press that switch here, which the door would trigger, of course, then it would be off. So I open the case, flip the switch up, and then it's off. When I close the case again, then I flip it down, put the side panel on, and then it's pressed again. And so it doesn't um, uh, alarm then until somebody intrudes the shutter, of course. Oh, let's turn the bag off, it's damn loud. Then I've got two fans here. I'm going to put a temperature um, uh, controlling device onto it or a thermostat so that they actually go on after a certain temperature. I tried the one which I had here and I realized that uh, it never gets warm enough so I just left it at the moment and so now I can do it with the flip of the switch. I need to hold the camera in the other hand so you can see when I turn it on what happens. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So as you can see, I can give acceleration. So and these two fans go on. The casing for this I just made out of a little tool. Uh, actually I used it for screws, blackened it, screwed it on from both sides, put the fans inside. And uh, as you can see, they work very well. So if it gets too hot, on a hot day, if we have 35 degrees or something, like in last summer, or at the DC member, it was also bloody warm, then, uh, then of course, I'll just turn them off. And you won't be able to hear them in there anyway. But I, don't, I doubt whether I'll actually ever need them. But it's a nice feature, and um, helps to make it look a little bit more Fire Brigade style. So, that was the 67th Brigade. I hope you like it. It's all about the fire brigade, and it looks dangerous. Or it, uh, you know, it's got that typical red danger look. Ah, oh, yeah, one thing I forgot. Yeah, it's the siren, of course. The siren had a control part with it, a panel, and I didn't want to put that anywhere here because it was always in plastic. I didn't like it, so I took it off, and I screwed it inside here, made some holes, 
and I can actually control the siren here as well. If you have a look at the front, whenever I press it, so depending on which button I press, you have the fire engine control. So I'll press pause now so that I can show you how I put the side panel on. So I'm back. Got the side panel. It's not fully on at the moment as you can see. So I'll slip it backwards and see what happens. So press it back into place. So it works. Right, that's the 67th Brigade. Hope you like it. Bye-bye. Have fun.